Welcome back. This is uh, segment two of Citizens Forum. I'd like to start by thanking the volunteer crew and Shaw staff that makes this program happen every week. Uh, our guest in this segment is Norm Ryder. Uh, Norm, Walt and I talked briefly last week that you were on a hunger and thirst strike at the legislature um, because of your long and crazy dealings with WorkSafe BC. But a week later, you're still alive. So what's happened? Well, I did start the hunger and thirst strike last week, but there was a bit of movement or potential movement. So a lot of people asked me not to do the thirst part of it. So I've stepped back from that. Over the weekend, I did take time off and started it again yesterday morning. Now, part of the movement was, which I, I knew he would do, that my MLA, Gary Holman, got on board and he's is writing letters how much good they do he he admits he doesn't know for sure how much good they will do but he's he's working on it there as well as on friday i got an email from worksafe they wanted to talk about one of my three concerns my concern about notifying people of the serious danger if you're close in close to a source of radiation that there's it's much more dangerous than even the same intensity further out up. Now, your case, you were exposed to a fair bit of electromagnetic radiation. It's the same radiation that people get from their cell phones and all the wireless stuff, but just a lot more. Probably at least 400 times more. 400. And that's, that's to start. There's complications that could even boost it higher. Yeah. But we, I'd also like to say that no level of electromagnetic radiation is really safe. Well, that's something I'd like... How many cigarettes is it safe to smoke? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the answer is none. Yeah. But. So one of the reasons WorkSafe has not done what you want is that they don't accept the scientific validity of the concerns you raise. Is that safe to say? They won't even look at it. Okay. They, but here it is. Well, actually, no. This has none of the scientific. This is my WorkSafe WCAT file, four CDs, and they gave me my file, but they've excluded 400 documents of it as well, which are very critical, as well as one other document they won't even talk about, that they refer to it in a letter, or WorkSafe refers to it in a letter that they sent to WCAT giving them my file. That and WCAT is the appeals Wor division of WorkSafe. WorkSafe is a crown to. corporation. WCAT is the appeal division and is a provincial government civil servant organization. But can we say they're like this? Very much so. Yeah. That WorkSafe pays WCAT together. just short of $16 million a year to operate. They, WorkSafe does the prime hiring, or not hiring, but advertising for new employees for WCAT. Now, and WCAT is supposed to be the independent appeals tribunal yes, it's for under the, WorkSafe. It's so, under the Tribunal Act of... But their like, money comes from... Yes, and 100% of the work comes from WorkSafe. And I understand they also report to the WorkSafe or Workers' Compensation Board. So I, I'm having a hard time figuring out just how independent this organization is. And I just want to say on top of this, this box here, it says the documents include the several thousand scientific peer-reviewed pages that are referenced yes. in your claim. So there's no shortage of thousands of studies that show that... Um, electromagnetic radiation can be damaging. That's correct, and if WorkSafe doesn't have the papers in the file, they haven't looked at them. So they're just not looking at the science. I mean, we can go all the way down in many different ways. They aren't looking at the science. They don't even, now, you express, or one way of expressing the amount of radiation you get is power density in watts per square meter, microwatts per square centimeter, whatever. 
watts per square meter. WorkSafe only refers to it as watts, so it's their number is they're totally meaningless when they're comparing it to anything because they're using the wrong units, let alone the wrong, shall we say, number value. They're way out to lunch on. And somewhere in there, there's a page where Debucat says they can't correct errors in facts that have been supplied. Well, WorkSafe has put an error in fact at the very beginning of my claim into my file. And no one will allow that wrong information to be removed. Can we ask what that wrong information is? Yes, they reference that I was exposed to 4.8 watts. In actual fact, and they've been told many times all through this, I was exposed to 31.5 watts per square meter. But if you adjust for it being in the near field, the, uh, the BC Centre for Disease Control and Industry, Industry Canada, among others, say you should multiply that by four. So that means I was hit with 126 watts per square meter. Now that's getting up into the range of a microwave oven. And then you throw in other things such as stored energy, which can just boost it literally hundreds of times. So there, they're trying to compare it to a cell phone and there are questions about cell phones. Well, 400 times more than a cell phone gives off has, I mean, intuitively you know it's going to have caused a problem. And yet the months and years go by and now, you know, you just wanted to mention the fact, and, and I thought exactly the same thing, why do people have to go to these extremes in order I think all you really want is a fair and honest hearing so that if you have information and you're right, uh, some, somebody can make some kind of decision, but it just never happens. They have never denied my case on the facts. It's always been, there are created facts, they make up stories about what I'm thinking. I mean, it's, it's, when you go through this file, it's pretty bizarre what they do. The sad thing is, I'm not the only person they have done this with that there's many people that I have met that they have their own stories. I, I meet more at the legislature every day that they have You've their own. You've all met them. No more at a time, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well. Good luck and, and it's just one more thing. Thanks for watching.